Welcome back to Let's Play Storyteller. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the last chapter, supposedly, looking at the last two sections, Vindictive Wife and Love Revolution. I'd like to start off this uh, session by giving a shout-out to Yornick, who thankfully filled in the blank in my head by uh, informing me, or reminding me, rather. The circle-making tool is called a compass, or a pair of compasses, if you want to be crazy super ultra-accurate. It, along with a triangle, is a symbol of the Freemasons, who believe, among other things, in the Supreme Being, a.k.a. the Great Architect of the Universe. Knowledge! And I do like that. It's a very amusing representation for God under those circumstances. The other thing I wanted to mention was, uh... Here it is. Shout out to Elthwar, who says on the subject of vindictive wife here... Unfaithful husband punished. Yeah, this one looks pretty tricky. I guess the trick is going to involve somehow letting the witch know that the prince has kissed Snowy. But there are no three-person scenes. Either the mirror has to tell her somehow, or maybe repetition is the key. So let's see. Let's get rid of all this stuff except for the first one. Okay, it starts with the prince and the witch getting married, and it has to end with the forest. Oh, I should mention, uh, Justin Jones wanted to know what the visual presentation is like. So, I'm looking at eight blank slots the where the panels go. And below that I get uh, buttons with uh, simplified representations of each of the scenes and a one-word description beneath each of them. In this case, wedding, cauldron, mirror, forest, and kiss. And just to the right of that at the bottom are the outlines of the heads of uh, all the characters I can use in the scene. Witch, Prince, and Snowy. Uh, yeah, you drag one of these panels up into the thing, like Forest, and you drag one of these characters up here. Arrows appear to show where you can place them in the, uh, the scene. In this case, there's two scenes in the Forest scene. So here's Snowy and the Witch, just sort of looking uncomfortably at each other because there's nothing important happening here yet. And you can move the panels around without disrupting the characters in them. And... Well, let's assume this one's going to be uh, the witch and the prince. Um... Yeah, the graphics are kind of cartoony. Like, the characters have big heads, but at the same time, I wouldn't exactly call them chibi. Eh, maybe. Let's see... Okay, the mirror tells the witch that Snowy is the most beautiful one of all. The cauldron turns the witch into the hag. <laughs> the, uh... Here's Snowy, and the hag turns her into a frog in the forest. Forest. Snowy the frog and the prince, and Snowy tells the prince that she's a frog. Kiss. Snowy turns the... Oh no, the prince turns Snowy back into a person instead of a frog. And I guess the mirror. I'll try the mirror, like that suggestion said. Oh wow, look at that. Huh. The mirror tells the hag that Snowy is still the fairest one of all, and the hag has another thought balloon indicating that she has worked out that the prince kissed Snowy to change her back to normal. So then the last panel, when she sees the prince again, she thinks about Snowy and turns the prince into a frog. Unfaithful husband punished. Man, I was thinking in circles for ages. I had no... In my defense, I had no idea that the mirror scene could do anything except tell one person who the fairest person in all the land is. Nice. I had some other comments in here explaining some stuff. Like, uh, shout out to Derek Floyd, who says that Salome, and included a uh, pronunciation guide there, is a biblical character, the daughter of Herod Antipas and Princess Herodias. 
And I just paused to think about the fact that uh, her parents were named Herod and Herodias, which is a really weird pairing. Uh, anyway, in the Gospels of Mark and Matthew, she danced for her father, and he offered her anything she wanted in return. Prompted by her mother, she asked for the head of John the Baptist on a platter. She's the title character of a one-act play by Oscar Wilde that depicted the event. Huh. Oh, yes, and Yornick uh, says much the same thing. Uh, Salome is a play by Oscar Wilde about Her Herod's stepdaughter who danced for John the Baptist, kinda sorta but not really seduced him, and in the end everybody died. Sadly, there's no information at this point as to whether The Rock was involved. And Waiting for Godot, The Tea is Silent, is a play by Samuel Beckett. Two guys are waiting for Godot to arrive. He doesn't. Weird shit happens. Godot is still nowhere to be seen. Some more weird shit happens. Still no Godot. The play ends. There's a chance Godot got killed by a rock. Um. <laughs> oh, and, uh, yes, uh, Ulthwar says... The Waiting for Godot uh, event was a really simple one, but a great reference. The Hamlet story was slightly different. Rather than a brother in the play, Hamlet killed his stepfather, but that definitely would have required an additional scene. Hmm. Oh, and on the subject of ha uh, Hamlet, shout out to Rachel Starwin, who says, There is a text game based on Hamlet called To Be or Not To Be. You can choose to go along with a story... Or you can do other things to get totally different endings. My personal favorite was Hamlet's fiance going off and inventing the thermometer. <laughs> I like that. But let's take a look at this last novel, The Love Revolution. Night and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. You see, I thought the knight was meant to represent Lancelot, which is why he was in love with the queen. But if the knight and the maid are... Mm -hmm. Okay, so the... So the knight is secretly having an affair... Oh no, it doesn't actually specify that. But it says have an affair, so I guess I assumed that the maid was with the king and the knight was with the queen. Because, you know, if they're... They're not... Hmm. I guess this page is literally called affair. I wonder if you can see them making out in the garden. Uh, Got eight panels, might as well get started. Uh, King. Maid... I got Affair, Kidnap, and Cliff. <sighs> the Knight is furious. I'm not entirely sure why, because he's the one in love with the, uh... The what do you call it? The, the, the Queen. Her name is right there. I don't know why I <laughs> didn't think that. Uh... And here's the Maid. Observing the Queen with the Knight. No. Okay. Maybe if the queen finds out about it, then she'll cheat on her husband. Wow. Rude. I don't like her very much. <laughs> Ever since the level where she killed everybody. Oh. Married the knight in order to murder him. Knight and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. <sighs> no, wait. Uh... Okay, yeah, he'll kill the king if I do that. Of how to do this. Okay, the queen. Oh, the queen falls in love with the knight if he rescues her from being kidnapped. Let's have the king qu kidnap the queen. No, he doesn't care about that. Uh, no. He said no one cares to kidnap the queen here, so that's not the answer. Oh. Oh. Yes, okay, so if the queen finds out about the affair between the king and the maid, then the queen can kidnap the maid. Actually, that doesn't make any sense, because the maid doesn't want to kill the queen. The knight won't kill the king right now. Uh... Okay, 
Maid kills the queen. Uh, how do I get the knight to kill the king? Maybe before I have them murdered. <sighs> oh, right. Yeah, the hate part. Um. Shit, it's counteracting itself. Okay. No, it's still. Um. Okay, I'm doing something wrong. say anything. Okay, that's confusing to me. He is pissed at the king, though. Let me see if that's the difference between the knight killing the king and not. It is! How dare you cheat on the queen! No, I just do that twice in a row. So the knight and the queen both know about the king's affair, meaning that... Oh, no, not you. You go there. The maid gets kidnapped by the uh, queen. The maid gets rescued by the knight. The knight kills the king. Maid kills the queen, and the knight and the maid have an affair. <laughs> Probably a much healthier relationship, aside from all the murder. <laughs> what a strange story. Knight and maid murder the monarchs and have an affair. The ceremony. Well, the b number has disappeared to be replaced with a crown that looks like a sticker. Ah, I, I can move this, and I'm going to put it on the picture of this cushion with a conspicuous starburst around it, but nothing actually sitting on the cushion. Oh. Oh! It's the shadow of a crown. Like, I'm actually wearing a crown as I'm looking at this book. That's great! <laughs> I did it! And I got the achievement, uh, the crown. Get the crown. Uh... Marvelous! Throughout these pages, you created tales of love, ambition, intrigue and vengeance. You have proven yourself worthy of the crown and the title of Storyteller. Now it is time to close this book, ponder about the possibilities of the future, and go fill the pages of your own story. The end. Oh! <laughs> Some red uh, scribbles have just appeared over the end. What the hell is this uh, bookmark over here? Secret Stamp Collection. Oh, Romeo and Juliet, original story by Shakespeare. Werther, original story by Goethe. Macabre. Isabel laughs at a tombstone. So these are like secret achievements, just things I can set up to do. So I don't know. Oh. Romeo and Juliet, and it's two poison bottles with a heart over them. So it's... I'm trying to remember... Okay, yes, the ending of Romeo and Juliet. Romeo fakes his own poisoning. To, uh... You know, as part of a, a convoluted plot to get close to Juliet. Juliet does not hear about this in time, and thinks he's really dead, so she stabs herself to death. Like, over his body. 
Juliet wakes up. Uh, no, Romeo wakes up. Oh, no, no, no. I think it was the other way around. Yes, Juliet fakes her death. Romeo doesn't know about it. He kills himself with poison. Oh, yes. She wakes up and tries to go with him by, like, drinking the poison out of his mouth. Which leads to, oh, God, thy lips are warm. The idea that she just missed him. You know, because it's a tragedy and all. So she takes his knife and stabs herself to death. Oh, happy dagger, find thy sheath. So this has got to be about two people falling in love and then killing themselves because of a misunderstanding. But where would I set them up? Excesses, Leonora, fall, uh, Lenora falls asleep. Age difference, young dog, old man. Meets young man, old dog, keeps. Young dog, old man, meets. Young man, old dog, keeps. Okay, persistence, the end of time. Batrachian affair. Frogs kissing. Second chance, witch removes curse from prince. Huh. Titanic, heartbreaks during shipwreck. Shipwreck? There have been no shipwrecks! Fear, accepting that martini. Fright battle, mutual ghost haunt. Unlikely match, Baron marries knight. Wait, fear, accepting that martini. Maybe that's... Uh, uh, the Duke witnesses the butler with the gun and talking about murdering the Duke, but then the butler puts the gun back, so the Duke is afraid. You know what? That's the right drink after all. I'll just take that. Thanks. Uh, unlikely match. Baron marries knight. Afterlife love. Queen and knight ghost love. Matriarchy. Queen marries maid. That was just straight up two female symbols with crowns interwoven. Inter uh, Fright battle, mutual ghost haunt, huh? Crown secrets, crown. King and queen catch each other having an affair. I just noticed that the 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 the, the, the shadow of the crown tilts from uh, to the opposite side when I move the cursor to the side of the screen, like I'm tilting my head to look in that direction. Dragon king, queen marries dragon. Gluttony. Adam and Eve get indigested. William Tell, pierced fruit. Oh. But there have been no shootings of any kind. Evil triumph, snake laughs at Adam and Eve. Dust to dust, two statues of ash. What? Phases, howling at the moon. Logical explanation, dragon gets arrested. Hard on the outside, professor cries. Oh, these are getting the devil stuff. Frustration, make devil angry. So let's roll back before we get into these stickers, really. Secret stamp collection. Although I do think I know how to do persistence, the end of time. Epilogue. Let's see. There's Oh, oh, the ceremony is different. The ceremony. Now the crown is in the image, and now it's t zero out of ten, and it's an inverted pentagram. Oh, boy. Novels. Oh. It's a, one, mad husband, two, loose end, three, vindictive wife, four, love revolution, six, 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 last straw, all written in red and a different font. Drama. Oh, and Godot now has an uh, alternate, uh, an optional win condition in the shape of a pentagram. Monsters. Let's see. The Genesis. Just oh, wait, no, no. Go back, go back. It was the Godot one. They all die. Oh. They all die? Well, they've added the devil. Oh! I put the devil into one of these wait scenes, and he chopped the tree, and in the next thing, the tree fell on, uh... Poor Tiny. They all die. Okay, that's gonna be all messing with the existing scenes, I see. That wasn't the one I was thinking of. I'm thinking of the one the dog gets old, you know, the time one. Genesis. Justice. Uh, Genus Adam watches his no, love that's not it. Dot. God damn it. Doesn't help that there's so many of these. Crown. The manor. Okay. The cellar. Haunted for murder. Double poison. Yes, Edgar had to kill himself twice. Mm. 
Oh, there was aging. Old heartbroken dog dies happy. The end of time. Oh, the dog turned into a ghost and I added more time. Persistence. The end of time. I just made it all time. Six things of the, uh, the hourglass in a row. And in the last one... Oh, look at that! The sand is actually running through it. In the last one, there's a big crack and a sand castle is forming out of the sand, spilling out of the, uh, hourglass. I haven't actually completed the objective anymore. Oh, it still counts. It still counts because I got it once upon a time. I guess I might as well start from the beginning. Broken hearts. I'm gonna click on this, and then I click on this. Life and death. Red arrow is pointing to heartbreak. Devil makes everyone miserable. Devil makes everyone miserable. Okay, so Adam and Eve fall in love. The devil spray paints Adam's face on a tombstone to make Eve think he's dead, so she's heartbroken. And then the devil sprays Eve's face on a tombstone to make Adam think she's dead, so he's heartbroken. That's terrible. Who knew? Turns out the devil is an asshole. No one could have guessed that with that little snippet of what we're getting into now. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Storyteller. Things are, uh... I may have the crown and have been given the title of Storyteller. After all this time, it feels nice for it to be official. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, apparently we've still got a ways to go. So, uh... I'll see you on the other side. Later!